Alright guys, just for a start today's video, I'm actually going to be giving away two runes of protection to worth 150 troll each of the first two comments, so congratulations to whoever won those, but for the main prize, I'm going to be giving away five Master Zone Plus 30, so these are all worth 400 troll apiece, and yeah, they are very useful in game, like I'm about to explain in this video, so to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is just like the video, be subscribed to my channel with notifications on, comment your game name on Imagine PS, and finally click on my referral link in the description below, and that's pretty much all you have to do to be entered, so good luck in that giveaway, and I hope you enjoy today's video. What is up guys, and today we are back on Imagine PS, probably one of the best custom servers out right now, so today I'm doing another sort of guide video, and I'm basically going to be explaining how the upgrade system works on here, so as you can see in my inventory we have a normal Hellstorm sword, but the one that I'm wielding has a plus 30 to it, so I'm going to basically explain what that means. You can pretty much upgrade like any weapon, or any piece of armour in game, even like raids armour, necklace of virtue, even like armour pieces, the cape, boots, gloves, ring, shield, and even the amulet, so yeah, as you can see they are all currently plus 30. So first off I'm going to explain what the plus 30 actually means and what the bonuses are and then I'm going to explain how to get your armor and weapons to plus 30. So first off for the helm, plate body and the legs every plus 5 bonus on it you get 100 extra HP bonus so with the plus 30 we get 600 HP per item so as you can see my HP level is 15,400 but we get an additional 1,800 HP from these three items and if we took them off then our HP would go down so yeah those are one of the effects of those three items which is pretty overpowered and yeah as well as the HP bonus this also applies for the gloves and the boots. So yeah, these five pieces of armor pretty much, with every plus one on it, it gives an additional hidden 0.25% defense bonus. So yeah, you'll be taking a lot less damage from monsters if all of these are upgraded. So yeah, since the five armor pieces add up to plus 150, that means that's an extra 37.5% if all of these pieces are upgraded to plus 30, which is insanely overpowered. All right, so now for the weapons. So the charges on these, like every plus one gives a plus 1% additional additional strength bonus. So if we compare the normal Hellstorm Sword, it only has 11,000, but with the plus 30, it has an extra 30% bonus. So that's 3,300 added onto it, and it now has a 14,300 strength bonus. So yeah, that is a huge difference. All right, and as for the shield, every plus five bonus, it gives an additional 1% chance to deflect the enemy hit, make it so you take no damage. So that means if it's plus 30, there's a 6% chance that you take zero damage. So <laughs> that is actually huge. Alright, so along with the additional defense bonus, the boots also give a 1% chance to increase damage output by 10% every plus 10. So that means on plus 30, there'd be a 3% chance to increase damage output by 10%, which is pretty OP. And yeah, the gloves have exactly the same effect as well. They also have a 1% chance to increase your damage output by 10% with every plus 10 added onto it. And finally for the ring, so basically once it's plus 30, it actually has a chance to reroll a non-rare drop to a rare drop. So that is a really overpowered effect for ring, and that's only if it's plus 30. Though. The bonuses from plus 1 to plus 29 basically give a hidden strength bonus, 1% strength bonus per plus 1, so say if it was plus 29, you'd get a plus 29% strength bonus, but with plus 30, you get a plus 30% strength bonus, and that chance to reroll a non-rare drop to a rare drop, so yeah, ring is actually one of the most overpowered ones, which is pretty cool. But Alright, so basically what the amulet does is for every plus 1 on it, it gives you an additional prayer point, so you'd basically get an additional plus 30 prayer points added onto what your prayer level currently is, so yeah, that is also pretty overpowered. Alright, so what the boots do is they give a 1% chance to reduce incoming damage by 20% for every plus 10 on them. So with plus 30, it would give you a 3% chance to reduce incoming damage by 20%, which is pretty OP. Alright, so I'm guessing you guys probably want to know how to actually upgrade each of these items to plus 30, considering how overpowered all the effects are. So yeah, the majority of the items that you need can be found in the donator store. And how to upgrade any weapon or armor pretty much works the same for every single piece of armor, apart from a few exclusive ones. Starting off is very easy, so from plus 0 to plus 4 you only need 4 heaven stones and you can buy these from the donator shop and they're only 250 dinner points or 1 troll cash in game and they're really easy to get in game, like literally every single monster drops them and it is very easy to get them so as you can see there's a 100% chance of success so yeah just use these until you get plus 4. Alright so now that it's plus 4 you have to use lucky heaven stones to upgrade it all the way to plus 9 so you can either do that by buying heaven stones and lucky yours from here and then you can use the heaven stone on the lucky ore to turn it into a lucky heaven stone. Now you can also get lucky yours and lucky heaven stones as a drop from lucky knights and they do drop them fairly frequently so 
that's another way to get them. And you also get loads of them from raids as well. But yeah, as you can see when you use it on the item, there's a 50% chance of success and a 50% chance of failure. Now what this means is there's a 50% chance of it going up a charge, but if it fails, you only lose the lucky heaven stone. There's no chance of destroying the item, so don't worry about that. But yeah, that means it's going to take you around 10 stones on average to upgrade it all the way to plus 9. So yeah, our first one was unsuccessful. But yeah, keep using as many lucky heaven stones as it takes until you get to plus 9. Alright, so it's now plus 9. We got a bit unlucky. We had to use 11 lucky lucky heaven stones. Now to get to plus 10 you could actually just use another lucky heaven stone and it would have a 50 cent chance of succeeding but what a lot of people do is they just buy a chaos stone. That's only 100 trill but it has like a 100% success rate so you won't have to like keep trying if you get really unlucky with your lucky heaven stones so you can just use that to upgrade it to plus 10 and it says C next to it but that doesn't actually mean anything so don't worry about that too much. Alright so here's where it starts to get slightly confusing so from plus 10 to plus 14 you're gonna need finer stones but as you can see when you try to upgrade it there is a chance of losing the item Item unless you use a rune of protection. Now finer stones cost about 40 trill each. You can buy them from the vote shop as well and they're dropped by quite a few bosses so they're not too difficult to get hold of but they're sold in the donation store of course. Now you can use all of these runes of protections for different charges but the easiest way to do it is just to buy the rune of protection too since they all cost the same amount of donator points so yeah this is probably the best way. So just buy four of these and when you use the finer stone on the item click insert rune of protection and then click confirm and there is an 80% chance of it succeeding and going up a charge but if it downgrades it will actually go down a charge which kind of sucks and I really hope it isn't the first one. Very right, nice. So yeah just keep doing that until it goes up to plus 14. Alright so we actually got pretty lucky there. <laughs> it didn't downgrade otherwise we'd have to use more finer stones and more runes of protection. Now again to upgrade to plus 15 you could use another finer stone and another rune of protection too but like I said there is a 20% chance of it downgrading and then you'd have to buy another two to get it back up to the charge you want which does kind of suck but instead of that you can just buy an extreme stone which goes for around 120 trill and that's actually a lot cheaper than arena protection 2 which is like 150 trill if you didn't do this then i don't know what's wrong with you so yeah just use it on the item and it's 100 percent success rate and you can upgrade it to plus 15 all right now so from plus 15 all the way to plus 30 you're now going to be using master stones so yeah as you can see they do vary in price they get more expensive as the number increases but basically what this means is the number is the highest possible like charge you can get to using that master stone so with a master stone plus 17 we could use like two of those to upgrade it all the way till plus 17 but after that you wouldn't be able to use this one anymore you'd have to move on to the next one which is plus 18 so technically if you wanted to be done with your money you could just buy like 15 of these and then just use 15 of those on the hellstorm sword and get all the way to plus 30 but obviously it's a lot cheaper to use the less expensive ones so yeah i'm basically going to explain exactly what you need to buy to get all the way to plus 30 you're going to want two master stone plus 17s you're going to want one master stone plus 18 and a plus 19 one so let's just use these they all have a hundred percent success rate by the way so there's literally no chance of failing which is really cool. Alright so now we are plus 19. So to get to plus 20 again you could just buy a master stone plus 20 which is 310 trill or you can buy a finest rune for 150 trill which is literally half the price so <laughs> you can only use this to get to plus 20 by the way. It's also a 100% success rate so I definitely recommend doing that and yeah we're now plus 20. Alright so to get to plus 25 you do need to buy one master stone plus 21, two master stones plus 23, one master stone plus 25 and then I believe you need a lucky rune. Alright so again you could use a master stone plus 25 if you don't want to buy a lucky rune but yeah these are a lot cheaper and we're now at plus 25 all right now it's for the final stretch so you just need to buy these last five master stones and then you just use them all right so here's a master stone plus 30 and there it is boys plus 30 hellstorm sword now as you can see like because we used all those four stones you can see all like the brackets around them each of these letters don't mean anything like this has exactly the same stats and effects as this one without the letters i just think this one looks cleaner but obviously doing this is a lot cheaper maybe they might add an effect in the future for using those stones so I'd recommend doing it that way but yeah that's pretty much how you upgrade any item to plus 30. Now like I said there are a few items which you use a heaven stone on to turn into a completely different item. Now if you watch my Iron Man videos then you would know that the light Karassi that you get from the Karassi minigame can be turned into a corrupt Karassi by using a lucky heaven stone on it. There's a 50% chance of success and as you can see it turns into a corrupt Karassi which has a lot better stats. You can also turn an auspicious katana into a ninja katana by using a lucky heaven stone on it and there it is we were actually successful and that's actually worth 300 trill more and you can even turn a golden katana into an ornate katana there we go we actually succeeded and you can also turn an amulet of torture into an amulet of torture ore which has significantly higher stats by using a finer stone on it but 
with this there is a chance of you destroying it, but most of the time it works. So yeah, there's probably a few other items that I'm not aware of. I think that covers pretty much the majority of the upgrading system in general, so I really hope that helped. And yeah, definitely try upgrading your items yourself, like even if it's just for the first plus force, because it still gives some pretty good bonuses, but an end goal can be getting like the best set in game and upgrading them all to plus 30, and I know that require a lot of money, so that could be a goal for you guys to work towards too. And it is pretty cool having like plus 30 everything, I'm not gonna lie. Like, PVM is so easy with this set. But yeah, I really hope that guy did help. I think I did cover everything, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And leave a like if you did find this guide helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Alright, so it's now time to pick the giveaway results from the previous video. So yeah, I was actually giving away two extreme lamps worth one quadrillion each. And those can be used to buy yourself extreme donor status in-game, which has a bunch of cool benefits that you can find on the forums. But 48 unique users actually entered, so let's see who the two winners are. So... The first winner is Enraro, congratulations man, you just won yourself an extreme donor lamp. And the second winner goes to Takanasi, so congrats to those two guys. So if you are one of those winners, then just message me on Discord. The link to my Discord can be found in the description below, and it is my personal Discord. There's like over a thousand people in there, and it's a really fun place to hang out, so if you're not in there already, then definitely make sure to join it. I also just like giveaways every now and then, so feel free to join, the link to it can be found in the description below. So yeah, make sure to join that, and yeah, thanks for watching guys.